Hey everyone, happy Canada Day. I realize this video is going up about a month after Canada Day, but I want to share with you guys what I did to celebrate Canada's birthday this year in Switzerland. So I actually visited Laar, Germany. Many people have asked me, why did you go to Laar? Because not many people go and not many people know about Laar. Laar is actually a very special place for my family, and here's why. Canada established a presence in Laar in the late 1960s with the Royal Canadian Air Force as part of the Canadian Forces Europe Command. My great aunt and uncle were posted there twice, first time in the 1980s and then the second time in the 1990s where they took part in the base closure. So a little bit on Laar. Laar is located 50 kilometers north of Friburg, Germany and on the northwest side of the Black Forest. The city was built around the Stork Anthem, which is the Stork Tower. This tower was damaged in World War II, but it still stands in the old town with a part of its original wall. Another cool fact is Laar is a twin city of Belleville, Ontario. Sweet! My first stop in Laar was the old town. I went to see the Altes Roth House, which is the old town hall. So it was the first town hall built in the German city of Hanover. It was built in 1410 and then restored in 1953 after heavy bomb damage from the war. continued walking through La, and my next stop was Crema Cafe and Gelato. Uh, it was almost like a meeting point for everyone in La. There was always so many people there, kids running and playing, so I had to get gelato, and yes, best gelato ever. Stork Tower. So I explored this area a little bit, uh, took some pictures, walked around, and then headed to the new town hall where in front on the square they were playing the football game for all the fans. So everyone was very excited, cheering for their teams, and it was a really cool atmosphere. I stayed and watched the game for a little bit and then continued walking. I visited the Catholic Church of St. Peter and St. Paul. It was built in 1844 by the architect Jacob Julius Griffin.
I then went to the airfield where the Canadian Armed Forces base used to be located. It was very cool to see. There was a lot of old unmarked buildings. I didn't know exactly what I was looking at, but it was really cool. I then went to Nonanbir, where my great aunt and uncle used to live with their family. It's a very small, cute little town, and I actually got to see the house where they lived in. So that was my Canada day. So I haven't been doing too many vlogs lately, but I plan to be posting more with um, a few summer trips that I have planned. Well, I miss everyone back home very much and hope to see you guys very soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh